What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with another episode of Cool Tech Under $50 for November. I know I kept you waiting a little bit, last month we did under 100, but we're back today with your favorite price point, just in time for the holidays, they're creeping up upon us, so a great time to start to build those wish lists and gift ideas. If you see anything you like, I'll have all the tech listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. And yes, heard you loud and clear. Again, in time for the holidays, we'll be bringing back some of the giveaways. So comment down below your favorite product, why you like it, leave a thumbs up, all that good stuff. So starting us out with the hype of the PS5 release in a few weeks, as well as the Xbox Series X, how about some cool little light up LED signs? Whether you're a Microsoft fanboy or a Sony fanboy, it doesn't really matter, it's all love here. These little light up signs can be a cool little addition to your desktop or your entertainment center, really anywhere you put these. Hell, you can even like put it on the console pretty much. So for the Xbox one, it's pretty much just like the logo, you know, of the Xbox. It does come with an acrylic stand, so you could choose to stand it up. You can either plug it in if you want to just like power it via USB or put in three AAA batteries on the backside and have it just light up on its own. There's a power button on the back, so it's not just gonna drain battery 24 seven, but I thought it would be cool to wall mount it because you can do that as well. A nice little visual extra piece of flair on the desk. And same goes with the PlayStation icon. It's the controller layout pretty much. Triangle, circle, X, and square. This you can also power via USB or just use the batteries yet again. There's actually three different lighting effects. You have a static lighting effect, one that just kind of blinks back and forth very slowly, individually, uh, the logo, and then one that just kind of goes back and forth rapidly. Uh, but again, these are pretty simple of a concept. I just thought they were a cool pickup. The Sony one is $35, and it seems the Xbox one is around 30 bucks. Next up, I know it seems like we're showing off a mouse each and every month, but guys, like this year, we've seen so many great new releases when it comes to a gaming mouse that I really would be doing you a disservice if I didn't show these off. And this one is no exception because it is killer for the price of $50. It's the Pulsefire Haste from HyperX, a 59 gram mouse. It's got six programmable buttons. It's using the TTC Golden Micro switches inside, so they're very sharp and tactile. Loving these. On the bottom, you get those super slick virgin grade PTFE skates. The cable is their Hyperflex cable, so super flexible, no resistance whatsoever. And it's using their 16,000 Pixar 3335 sensor. Now again, at this size, I'd say it's around medium. It's not large, it's not small or anything, but at 59 grams, that is super, super light. Yes, the honeycomb cutouts in the shell definitely, you know, help with that. So if you either you love it or you hate it, really, I don't mind it because you get that cut down weight. However, in the box, they do include grip tape if you want to cover up the holes on the shell, as well as the sides for some extra grip, which is nice, and an extra set of feet. So if the holes freak you out, just cover them up. But all together, for just $50, the Pulse Fire Haste is super comfortable, light. It's a great gaming mouse. I've had no issues with it whatsoever. You can get a little RGB lighting and the scroll wheel there. And this is definitely, uh, it's going to be on my list for top five gaming mice of 2020. So yeah, spoiler alert, that's coming out towards the end of the month but this mouse is awesome for the price. Now, next I wanted to show this off because it's finally back in stock after months of seemingly not being in stock. And whenever I'm doing, you know, a mic test or anything, I get a lot of questions about my boom arm. And that's this one from Samson. As you can see, nice and retractable, mount it to the side of your desk, adjust it whoever way you want. But what I love about this is the fact that it really frees up your actual desktop space. I've used uh, mic stands in the past where it does actually, you know, sit on the actual desktop. And it's always either interfering with my mouse or the keyboard when I'm streaming or doing live streams or whatever. But this, what's really great is you could just mount it off to the side or behind your desk. And with that boom arm, extend it to go right in front of you, right in front of your mouth. It's not gonna interfere with your vision. Again, it doesn't interfere with the actual mouse and keyboard on the desktop, freeing up the space. And that's why I love this for just $25. I've had this for probably close to a year, but like I said, every time I've wanted to show it off in the past few months, it just hasn't been in stock on Amazon. So I saw it was, figured, all right, now's the time. I would definitely hop on it if I were you, if you've been waiting for a mic stand like this. Like I said, I get a lot of questions about it. This one, highly adjustable, works like a charm. Can't recommend it enough. Mount your mic, be good to go. Again, $25. 
And then speaking of $25, next up we have the Blink Mini Security Cam, which is also on sale for $25. It's been on sale probably for close to a few weeks now at this price point. And for a little extra, you know, mini security cam you can add to your house, certain rooms, your setup like I have down here in the studio. For that price, it's pretty much a no brainer. It's super tiny and lightweight, so you could literally use just like double-sided tape to mount it somewhere. But it also comes in this adjustable ball head, so you could mount it on either the bottom side and adjust it to a certain angle, or mount it on the back side again. So definitely flexible. What I like about this is it also ties to your other Amazon devices. You can ask Alexa to show you, you know, what's going on. Pull up the live feed real quick. It's 1080p, so it's gonna be nice and clear. Uh, keep in mind for this video, since it's 4K, I did upscale it a bit so it would fit your screen. So it's a bit sharper than what's showing right now. And it also has, you know, motion detection, night vision, so at nighttime, you can actually see what's going on in the room. And you get two-way audio, so you can obviously hear what's going on and then also talk back if someone just breaks in your room and they start dabbing all over the place, get that shit out of here, it's not 2018 anymore. And for the overall image quality, as you can see in the daytime and when there's ample lighting, definitely passable, 1080p, so you're gonna be able to see what's going on. If you need more security cams in your house and you already have you know, a security system, you can add these for just 25 bucks. Definitely a pretty good pickup, I think. And then last but not least, when I did my back to school tech video in August at this point, everyone was asking why I didn't show off a webcam. And truth be told, there's just not a lot of quality ones on Amazon. This is slightly the exception, okay? Uh, what I like about this is as you can see, it has this light ring built into it and it's adjustable with three different light levels. I picked this up for $45. It seems it might have been hiked back up to around uh, 55, but again, with the holidays coming up, keep an eye on this as well as all the other prices. This time of year, prices fluctuate like crazy. But this 1080p webcam is gonna get the job done. It's not gonna blow you away in terms of you know video quality and stuff like that, but odds are it's gonna be a lot better than your built-in webcam. I'll show you the example in a little bit, but it's super adjustable. You can adjust the head and turn it three 60 degrees clips in the back of your monitor and you'll be good to go plug it into your pc no software needed which is always good no extra bloatware for zoom calls online schooling and lectures hopefully it'll give you a quality bump all right just for a quick demo of the actual mic quality here obviously again with these usb microphones around this price point unfortunately they're not going to blow you away but from what I've seen, other ones I've tested, and obviously compared to a built-in, you know, webcam on your laptop or whatever, it is better quality. And the fact you have that light ring here is an added extra bonus. Now, this is currently at 100%, so I'm gonna turn it down. And you can't really even tell because there's a lot of lighting as it is right now. So this is zero, one, two, three. Again, it's not gonna make too much of a difference in these pre-lit conditions like this, but if the lights are all off, in darker conditions, it will make a bit of a difference. So this is the first sort of, you know, I guess level of brightness, then is the second level. So you could see starting to light it up a little bit, and then you have the third level here. Uh, so it adds just a little bit of something to otherwise nothing. And it's not too bad, all things considered, for the price with a built-in light ring around it. So as you saw from the quality, not the greatest thing out there, but for the price, really not too bad. I tested a lot of other knockoff ones on Amazon and this one was definitely the best for the price. Uh, so yeah, if you wanna pick it up around that price, like I said before, fluctuating every now and then, not too bad for between 45 to 55 bucks. And the webcams are pretty much essential nowadays. So this one with that light ring twist. And guys, that'll wrap it up for this episode of Cool Tech Under $50 for November. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned to the channel. We got a lot of tech videos coming up for the holidays. You're not going to want to miss out. But also, don't forget, check the links down below for anything you saw. Have them listed down there for you. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.